SCP-2337 Dr. Spanko Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2337 is to be kept in a standard avian habitat cell with soundproofing. Personnel are required to wear level 26M ear protection while handling SCP-2337. Transportation of SCP-2337 is to be carried out using a portable soundproof crate. Though SCP-2337 has no need of nutrition, gummy worms, SCP-2337 calls them strangle fruits, are to be provided upon request, and not restricted as a reward for good behavior. Due to SCP-2337's poor grasp of cause and effect, punishments and rewards will inevitably result in frustration on part of involved personnel. As of May 12, 2014, all staff were advised to not attempt to emulate SCP-2337's speech patterns in its presence, and are assured that SCP-2337 understands some degree of human English. Description SCP-2337 is a male corncrake. Cracks, cracks. It is sapient, sentient, and capable of speech. All of its vocalizations are extremely loud, with a minimum observed volume of 90 decibels and a maximum of redacted. Though this can and has caused damage to personnel hearing, SCP-2337 is oblivious of its ability and is generally friendly with Foundation personnel. SCP-2337's vocalizations take the form of a language tangentially related to English. It often appears to be a word salad, but upon closer inspection, can have meaning in English through a series of vague innuendos, metaphors, rhymes, and arbitrary insertions of the word cack. As such, SCP-2337 will answer to the name Dr. Spanko. Initial reports of SCP-2337 came from unusual noises from a field near Redacted, Sussex, UK, which led to its capture in the same area. Upon containment, SCP-2337 appeared to take hostile action against Foundation personnel, emitting blasts of noise that ruptured the eardrums of three agents. Upon examination, it was revealed that SCP-2337 was attempting to make friendly conversation. Addendum Since the containment of SCP-2337, several sapient creatures contained by the Foundation have displayed knowledge of its existence and have expressed interest in meeting with SCP-2337. The reason for this has yet to be fully understood, though it is believed that SCP-2337 has some sort of status as an authority figure to several particularly dangerous beings. Cata reclassification has been proposed for this reason, but is currently denied due to SCP-2337's apparent cooperation with the Foundation. Interview with SCP-2337, May 12th, 2014. Doctor Redacted. Please state your name for the record. SCP-2337. Kek! I'm Chris and here, Dr. Spankoflex. I'm colloquially named slapped with EZP-233 and Steven. I'm complicated across the state. Thank you. And how? Listen, SCP-2337. <gasps> it me, Kek. You seem to have a pre-established relationship of sorts with several of the more dangerous creatures in our custody. And how? Yes. Please, elaborate on the exact nature of this relationship. It shall be shall forth. Abel saw some tricky mayonnaise forsooth, Aunt Ruth? Come packing with store brand hostility, cakes for mouth stuff. Slavikins grew boarded and bearded from Chesapeake Bay to unknown Candace, my good Thibbert. The three ringed hobo stack over and over, Alakazam! Cack! Please repeat that statement in the dialect used by the Foundation. 10 4 X Lax! SCP 2337 begins yodeling for three consecutive minutes. Please discontinue yodeling. Am cack more sense? We need you to cooperate and explain your answer in a coherent way. Mitochondria of the molasses? And what Spangle Freezer said, for shame this. Asculate the right query cue, molasses! You're not hearing me, are you? Only with the Nebraska cack flip, amigo salad, cack! Cack? What, no, east rebound? Profound disappointment. Snackutations, Dr. Spanko, CAC. You am authoritator? Explanerate. SCP-2337 begins cacking angrily, then proceeds to climb up to Dr. Redacted's face and attempts to peck his eyes out. 
SCP-2337 is quickly sedated with a tranquilizer dart, and Dr. Redacted suffers only minor scratches. This has been noted the only time that SCP-2337 has displayed hostility. Thank you for listening to SCP-2337. If you enjoyed this SCP, please like and subscribe, and follow the link in the description of the SCP Wiki and vote it up to support it and the SCP Wiki as a whole. Also, if you have any SCPs you'd like for me to do, please leave a comment below, and I'll see what I can do.